it's the total distance in this direction. It's B. Half this distance will be D, B divided 2. If the total distance of your column in this direction is C, half this distance will be C divided 2. So if you subtract B divided 2 minus C divided 2 minus D, the remaining distance is L prime. That's all. I don't care about this equation. Once you get your distance L prime, go ahead and calculate B ultimate one equal B L prime Q ultimate. I think we calculated Q ultimate before. L prime and B, the width of your footing, then V ultimate one must be smaller than or equal this equation, smaller than or equal this equation. <coughs> if this not happen, go ahead and increase. Maybe you have two options. The first option you have to try, increase the total thickness of footing or change dimension of column, B and C, of the column. So you said B divided by 2 minus C divided by 2 minus D? Yes. Okay. I have to repeat something here very important. For footing, we have to check. Keep it in your mind regardless calculations. For footing, we have to check of punch. We have to check of shear. In different meaning, we can call this one two-way shear. Bunch is a shear, stress. Shear is a shear. So bunch in a different meaning for shear, but two-way shear in two dimensions. Shear, we can call it one-way shear. The most important difference between the two cases, this one. Here is your column, your footing. If bunch happened, your bunch will happen something like this. This area of footing with this column will bunch your footing. This area a distance D divide 2 from this side. Distance D divide 2 from the other side. Distance D divide 2 from this side. Distance D divide 2 from the other side. So the critical location or the critical section of bunch D divided to from each side of the column. For shear or one-way shear, no, we have different phenomena. Here is the column, footing. For one-way shear or check of shear, just only from one side of the column at distance D, not D divide 2, only distance D. At this location, draw cross section. So I expect your column with this side of footing will go down, and the other side of footing will go up due to the effect of soil pressure. You got it? So big difference between this check and this check. Maybe at the end will be the same. If you can see here, this equation and this equation looks like the same for bunch. But different mean, different meaning between this one and this one. So if you draw plan, here is the footing, here is the column. Your cross section or your critical section of bunch Something like this. D divide 2. D divide 2. D divide 2. D divide 2. So go ahead and figure out what is this distance. 
and what is this distance? I don't care about any equation. If you use your, your equation C plus D, B plus D. But I don't, I don't care about this equation. Just go ahead and figure out what is this dimension. If you know the dimension of your column, at D plus divide 2, at D divide 2, you can figure out this distance. If you draw plane for this case, here is the footing, here is the column. Just walk from one side, this side, this side, this side, this side, any side, by distance D. And draw your cross section. Someone else, you have to do both of them at least. Will say, hey, I will walk distance D from this side. Okay, here is your cross section. Okay? Go ahead and figure out what this distance is in prime or what this distance is in prime. And then keep going to calculate your check. Can I ask a question on, on what D we're using? Because I see the HF, D is a distance from the top of the thing to the, to the... D is your depth. Here is HF, total. If you have steel reinforcement, D, this distance. So you have to subtract cover. Okay. Cover in foundation, three inch, to five inch. Mainly, we are using four inch. So we we're just using all the D's that we're using are depth. I I hear you call it depth a lot, and I'm thinking is it the, the HF or is it D? No, no, depth is the D. 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 Okay. We covered one example before, and I would like to repeat. There is a foundation board. Uh, last time I did big project. We have many around 20 column. So we can design 20 footing at the same time. But this time, uh, this uh, today, I will focus only on one foot. So, for example, <clears throat> I have a column. are total reactions yeah. which is coming from one floor reaction time number of floors and I told you how we can get dead loot alone and the life loot alone from Riza foundation let's try it if you don't like to see uh, this grid you can from this one. Can you see this icon? Mm -hmm. If you push it one more time, you can show your grid. One more time, hide them. Or view grid, uh, drawing a grid. Both of them work. Anyway, insert point. I will point about uh, a point at zero, zero. Only just one column and one foot. Insert. Load, point load. We have total point load, dead load, 100 cap. Total life load, point load equal 50 cap. So, for dead load, your magnitude equal 100 cap. Apply at this location. One more time. 
you can use this icon also. Your <coughs> life load, pay attention to me, please. Uh, your life load is 50 kip. Apply. Go ahead and put your life load. I would like to be sure. Did I put did load correctly? What's going on here? It's only 50 kip for life load. I would like to recheck the value for did load. What should I do? Change the view box. Yes. Go ahead from this point, from this icon. You can open it and choose did load. We have 100 kip. If you choose live load, we have 50 kip. If you choose uh, wind load, we don't have wind load because I didn't define any wind load. That's right. So I'm good. I'm good right now. Uh, we need to define some rules, footing dimension uh, definitions. For general, what is the maximum uh, for general? What is the minimum steel reinforcement? What is the maximum steel reinforcement? I will not change it based on ACI. You can uh, force equal bar spacing. If you would like, the spacing between uh, steel rebars are equal. Uh, you can check geometry. Geometry, I can define what is the maximum length. What is the minimum length? What is the maximum width? What is the minimum width? I put limits for design. You cannot exceed this length. You cannot be below this length. You cannot exceed this width. You cannot be below this width. And also, what is the incremental? The design steps. The reason will use, he will start with the minimum length, two feet. The minimum width, two feet. He will start with this minimum dimension. It's not safe. Okay, I will make increase, which called incremental. 0.5 feet. I will increase this length by 0.5. Increase this length by 0.5. And check. Unsafe, go ahead and increase one more time by 0.5. So two, uh, three and three and keep going until you found the safe cross section or safe di dimensions you can change this one if you don't like to increase by 0.5 uh, feet uh, maybe quarter feet maybe 0.2 feet maybe 0.1 feet your incremental of design also i can uh, uh, select the maximum thickness of your footing, the minimum thickness of your footing, and the incremental. If you would like to keep your thickness even number, two, four, six, eight, you have to change this incremental, incremental thickness. Because the program will start with this minimum thickness, 12. If you uh, put the incremental thickness one inch, so the next trial, 13 inch. The next trial, 14 inch. The next trial, 15 inch. So if you choose your thickness incremental by two inch, that means you will start with 12, 14, 16, 18, 12, uh, 20, and so on. Also, I can force the program to design square footing. Force square. If you check this box, I told the program, hey, design this footing to be square. Your length equal your width, if you would like. Uh, okay. We have one more definition, soil definitions. We have here very important factor in your design, which called allowable bearing capacity. Uh, in KSI, I'm sorry, KSF, KIP per square feet. So we are going to use maybe three or four based on what is the type of your soil. Uh, so the most important two things, the footing definition, soil definition, that's all. From this icon, footing 
we need to draw your footing. Apply, go ahead and put footing here. Check your load combination. So if you have many, like last time, we have many columns, we have many nodes, and I define the dead load, life load for each node, so I can draw footing for each node in your project. Check your load combination to be sure everything is there. Yes, we are good. Your dead time 1.2, your life time 1.6. Okay. Your footing dimension changed. And if you would like to check what is the dimension and what is the design of your footing, you can get from details and the click on your footing, you can see everything about this footing. One more time. Detail, this icon in your left side. Just to click it. Your mouse change a little bit. Go ahead and click the footing you are looking for. Then your footing will be 7.5 feet, this length. Time 5.5 feet. Your thickness will be 18 inch. And your stereo enforcement number six, every 12 inch. Number six every 14 inch in both sides. And you will check. You can go ahead, uh, check of sliding, check of overturning. We don't have sliding because we don't have horizontal force. Uh, footing, shear, check. and flexure based on bending moment and you can figure out how much is still reinforcement. So everything you can figure it out. But the most important thing for me, dimension, thickness, how much is still reinforcement. This is the most important thing. Uh, if you have many isolated footing, last time we solved 20 column for 20 footing in one time. I think the most important part